In this video, we're going to go over Lab 8 for KNH468 Lab. So we're already logged into the computer, and what we'll do is we're going to load up the Vicon Nexus program. All right, great. So before we can get started with anything, what we'll do is we're going to come over to this Nexus data, and we're going to probably create something for We'll probably create something for the semester here. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these. It's like we got KH468 lab vertical jump stuff, and it's you know starting from fall and, and spring and so on. So what we'll do is we'll just come up to this green icon, create a new pa what's called patient classification. I, I'm not a big fan of their naming scheme here, but but uh, it, it works. We'll we'll show you how to get through it. And this one will be for, uh, we're in spring 2023 right now. So if there isn't one already created, I just make one for each of the sections usually. So go ahead and click on this and then there'll be a section A, section B, and so on. And if these aren't already made, you can make one for your own section. These would just be so that we can keep everything sort of separate if we ever needed to go back, so we don't have to remember names and all that. So let's go ahead and bring up one of the sections. We're going to go into that one. And now we're going to create a session. Here we're going to, uh, I just call it vertical jump, vertical jump, easy peasy. Now, now that we're within this VJ, the vertical jump, we are good to go. So now we're gonna go live. All right, we can see our force plates here. We can also see the 3D perspective. This is basically from where I'm sitting right now in, in the, uh, the lab. We don't care too much about the cameras because all we're doing right now is force plate data capture. So I'm gonna go ahead and select both the force plates we're not going to remove, we're going to zero level, zero level them so that they read zero. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the graphs for these. So they should be reading zero, they see zero except for these, these will just have the center locations. Perfect. So from our 3D perspective, we're going to be probably on force plate two. Most of our people will unless you're having them jump off the other force plate, that's okay. But what we'll do is we'll bring up force here. Okay, I just want FZ. That's the only one, that's the only component we are particularly interested in for this. Then I'm gonna to go to capture up here. Because again, all these are for the cameras, but we're not using the cameras today. Go up to here. And I'll just call this, this is gonna be the person's name. It's just me, since I'm gonna be the one doing it right now. Uh, and we're only having each person do a vertical jump, so can have my name, VJ, and if there's multiple trials, you can, or different trials for like different things, like different landings, you can name them as such on here. All right, so if by chance you don't see this right here, you should, but at this point, but if you don't, you might be selected on this. You have to be selected and embedded within this gray sort of icon. Three, three quarters full icon. Doesn't work on here, doesn't work on here. You have to go through all these steps and that's why we did those steps beforehand. I actually had to go rename this because it defaulted back to the original. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do a capture now. All right, so at this point, you will want them to step on after we've zeroed and everything and we're ready to go. You'll have them step on and stay as still as possible. And then 
After being still for a few seconds, tell them when you're ready, go ahead and jump. Because again, we need that stillness before we have them go ahead and jump. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate this. All right, so that was it. That was one capture for one person. And that is literally it. We just go ahead and capture one. Then we can go ahead and name the uh, next person in the list and so on and so forth. So once we get all four, ones, actually for this, so we have these, well, this person was created separately. If you, for some reason, do not see this, it's just this little button right here called Show File Transfer Batch Processing to make sure you're on the middle one. If you're on any of the other ones, it will look weird, but we want the batch processing. And then let's go ahead and mark, go ahead and mark. Again, we're just doing this for demonstration purposes here. So we'll have four when we're done at least with it. And then we'll go to uh, selecting our plugin. We're going to go ahead with force plate data extraction. We'll just scroll on over and there's this little play button that says start processing. It'll start. Green means it's done. Just to show you what it looks like. Let's go ahead and mark that. And we will uh, process. Oh, that's OK. I processed them all again. That's all right. I try to only have like six to eight seconds of recording because we don't need any more. All right, cool. So we got that. Open it on up. So the one force plate's all zeros except for you know the center of the, the plate. Don't don't need all this. So let's go ahead and just delete that. And actually, the only one we're interested in is F Z on this force plate and could have got rid of one more so this is literally all that's needed when they actually get to it they'll do zero this will be the time that'll be in seconds of 0, 0.00 well, it starts at zero, zero point zero zero uh, one, and so on. So easy peasy. Then they'll have to go ahead and on through. Let's just take a quick look through it to make sure we got our data. OK, yep, we see our data there standing still. Then the jump. OK, zero again. I'm off the force plate and I'm on again here. And then I'm off because I had to do this for demonstration purposes of walking on and off and such. All right, so once we got that, I'll just save this as a in the same folder. Or if you have a flash drive here or the desktop, if you want to keep them all in one place, uh, you'll have to eventually extract this. But go ahead and open up, uh, go ahead to the Excel. We'll go ahead and save that as an Excel SX. And this is the file, or these are the couple files that you'll have and send to the students.